Hey everyone, this is Stina, or Sadifix may include here. Today I'm going to finally be doing a makeup tutorial because you guys keep asking me, like all of my comments on TikTok are like, When are you gonna do a makeup tutorial? We need to see it. We love to see it. So here I am. I'm here doing it. It's awkward. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. I'm also not a professional makeup bitch, so this is not a professional tutorial. There are thousands of people that do makeup better than myself. So I'm gonna start by painting my face. Actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna start by putting in my contact lenses. <laughs> I use uh, all my contact lenses that I use are from coloredcontacts.com. Very good website. And since I'm bad at in-depth talking about makeup while you are watching me do this, I'm gonna talk to you guys about uh, stuff. We're gonna talk about hentai. Hentai! That's what I'm saying. Alright, so here we go. Okay? So I'm gonna talk about my problem with a specific genre of hentai, and by problem I mean just something that annoys me. I was ranting to my roommate about this last week. And I just thought it would be a good, lighthearted, not so wholesome rant for my channel while I do this. Also, for makeup stuff here, um, for the face paint I use, I use Morphe Clown White Face Paint. I buy it in bulk. I slap it on my face until I look like Casper. It's awesome. Do not recommend. But yeah. So back to the hentai. Uh, a harem is pretty much a category where a guy lives with three, four, or ten anime bitches and canoodles, all of them. Generally, they know about it and they're cool with it. Sometimes they all pile on, whatever. That's all consensual and fine. We stand poly life. Get it, girl. But here's the problem I have, all right? I am not one of those people that watches hentai passionately or even constantly. Sometimes I sprinkle it into my life, all well and good, and as long as I've been watching it, there is this specific genre where there is this guy and he's hooking up with every single girl to school. He starts with like anime girl number one, and by the end of the show he accidentally screws literally every girl at the school, including the teachers. They're not exempt from this. The girls react to this by generally fighting one another to get this guy to notice them, which would never work because he's getting puss from everyone ever, so why would he just pick one of them? They're all just slinging it out, and they don't seem to care about him. They only want- about, like, what he's doing. They only fight each other. They don't actually yell at this guy. Which is weird, because it's like, dude, if you're not- if you don't want to do it, then just stop. Like but you're in this, like, harem thing, but you're not 100% choosing. It's just weird. It's a weird thing. Some of these chicks know he's slinging it all over town, and some have no frickin' clue. Now, if it was me in this situation, and I was with some dude, and he made me feel like we were basically dating, and we decided to slam at home, and then I find out he's with 35 other people at the same time, and didn't have the decency to tell me, I'm gonna throw him out the window. <laughs> like, really? That's not respectful? Bitch! I don't care if you're with 35 other people, but you gotta tell me! You gotta tell a girl! So she knows what she's getting into! Look how good this makeup is. Look at my dumb face. Look at Doodles. She's coming together. It still looks like shit, but it's coming together. It's... It's not the multiple partners that's the problem for me, it's the fact that there's all this, like, weird, shady trickery. Why can't you be up front? Why? Like, just be honest. Tell the girl you are hoeing it up. Just let her know she isn't your one and only. Instead, he tries to hide it and shit. It's fucking dumb. 
The only one that ever knows is like the character who plays the bitch best friend to one of the girls and wants to bang the main guy to get back at that girl. And she's just as shitty as he is. They should make a series where the guy does this and at the end all the girls team up and beat the crap out of him. Then leave him there and go shopping and shit. Anime montages, some Yuri, boom, there you go. There's your series. Box that up and sell it. Every time I do this clown, uh, I mean, I think that's it. I think that's it for the hentai ran. I got, I really got nothing else for that. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'm done. Goodbye. That was a great video. Every time I do this character, people ask me how long it takes me to do this makeup. So I will answer this question on here so I can just reference it forever. It takes me an hour to an hour and a half to do this character's whole thing. And I use this character for haunts, like for spooking it up. I get paid to scare people every season and I help design sets for haunts. It's fun, I like it. It's a passion of mine, I've been involved with it for a while. So once I get to the part where I'm just like drawing stuff all over my face, like the line art, I just think of it like my drawings because I draw a lot of cartoons and stuff, so. I don't look at it much differently than that. I take a lot of inspiration from Borderlands characters. Some people have noticed that, which is cool. I'm glad it shines through. I am still working on the wet. Ugh. I am still working on the web comic for this character. I haven't forgotten. I've just been busy. I'm trying to make sure that I uh, update everything. And it's uh, it's a lot for one bitch, you know. All right, all right. I'd say this is it here. This is a good look. I think this is a good place to to end it. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for listening to me rant about hentai. Thank you for supporting my original character, Doodles. I didn't think anyone cared about clowns anymore, but here we are. So if you like my content, leave me that like, throw me that sub, and join the Scripps Army. You know you want to. We have fun here. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace! I wanna do it.